and welcome back to Exotic Gaming's Building Base Defense Series. I will be giving you three more simple bases that you can use to defend against the hordes of undead in Seven Days to Die. If you want more base designs, check out the other videos in this playlist, and let's check out some bases. Now base concept number one here works like a maze. The zombies walk in, you can shut the door or whatever. They walk in, you put this up, and you can melee them. And if they break that, you close this door. And you continually just keep closing and hitting them. Like this. And eventually, they'll get all the way back here. You have an iron door. And what you can do is you put this hatch up. And you can hit them while they're right here. You can shoot them or whatever. As they walk through the maze, you can continually keep damaging them and damaging them. And the way the AI pathing works is... Because of the doors that you're going to have to leave open, they will path the way you want them to. They shouldn't attack these blocks because the doors will be open and the easiest way to get to you is to just break this one door. Now this concept can be expanded out, obviously, to more and more hallways. You can also build it larger if the hordes are breaking in. They shouldn't ever attack these walls if you are doing the doors correctly and leaving them open. It's also worth noting that I put these spikes out. I put these spikes on the roof in case spider monkeys or whatever try jumping and coming in through the roof. But you also don't have to have an opening in your roof. So then they won't have a way to come in. So it's up to you. And here's concept number two. I like to call it the Tower of Death. The zombies will path up this mountain every time they fall off. And the dumper that you have placed right here will whack them right back off. I Design this very simple, so you put blocks out. I use concrete just for stability's sake. They will try to either jump this or they will fall down, and the staircase makes them walk back up and try it again over and over, depending on where you're standing, obviously. Some of them can make this jump. It's a play off the other videos in the playlist where I told you to go three high with this floating method. Instead, I went two, so they can make the jump sometimes, and it helps filter the zombies. And the spikes, sometimes they'll jump in the spikes. A lot of the times they jump and they just completely miss this and go flying down the mountain. And you can also come up here and shoot them or whatever down this. And there really ever shouldn't be more than a few on here. And at this point, you should be able to kill two or three zombies. But not everybody's skilled, so if you need it, there's the backup plan of a mini bike and a cliff. And... You can escape this way. Now, there's, there's really nowhere to go to on this mountain, but you get the idea. If you enjoyed those first two bases, like the video and subscribe. Stay notified for the new episodes that are coming out in this series that will show similar concepts like that. On to concept three. Now, this concept's going to be the most controversial one because it kind of glitches up the, the zombies, at least from what I've noticed. I've tested this on two horde nights and it worked pretty well. Uh, you, you apply the floating concept of a plate and a plate underwater. I did it with concrete for because of the stability that's needed for these blocks I wanted to place. And then you flip it around and do it again, but then you place it, then you place blocks all the way down, and you place a staircase that leads up to a ladder that goes up the top of the water where you can breathe. And then you do it again for another floating block, plate plate backwards up and then you place a thumper towards the ladder and you stand here and as the, as the zombies come they will obviously try to go underwater and get to you and what I found to happen is they just swim in circles from anywhere from like up here to down here and they get glitched out trying to get towards you now you're still gonna have to deal with birds and stuff like that but it really limits how much they can send at you. I also dug a hole under this one in case they wanted to attack it. Now, sometimes one or two might attack these concrete blocks, but one or two zombies isn't going to break through concrete, nor are they going to break through two layers of concrete. You could also layer it with plates or whatever. Those were just some quick bases you could build pretty much any time in the game to help you survive the Horde Knights. If you guys want to see me test these horde bases out and show you how they work, leave a comment for me to do that so I know what you guys want to see. 
and stay updated on when I release videos by getting subscribed. Thank you for watching and deuces.